Hello everyone, this is Ritesh. I hope all of you are doing well at your home. Stay at home, be safe. So what I have for you today, so before moving uh, forward, I would request you to subscribe to my channel if my videos are making sense to you. Do hit the like button if you like this video. That's how I get to know about my, about the feedback on my efforts. So let's get started. So today we have an important topic and already I have pasted this at my LinkedIn. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to create custom alerts. So I have a blog as well that you will find at my YouTube description. How to send email alerts to multiple users for extract failure. So if you are not having the work around at your company, you might have encountered this where you want to send the alerts to the multiple users, not only to the data source owner or the workbook owner that won't help because most of, because the point number one, most of the time, both are same. What if they are on vacation, they are on leave, you want to get the alerts, right? So that someone, for example, this very particular post extract failure alert email to multiple user. So keep it as well. So you can come to this post uh, and click on this and see whether any of the suggestions will work for you or not. So if you are uh, same board as we are, then you can come here and uh, see what we have made. What we have made, we have made a single dashboard having information about multiple extracts. So even one extract fails, then you'll get the, then not only you, but the folks who are subscribed to this dashboard, there is another sheet over there. You can see overall delay. I'm going to show you at worksheet level as well he or she will get the notifications. So there are different principles, there, there are mainly two principles that we have applied, but this is the dashboard. Let me take you to the dashboard. But So for, let, let's start with this. As a user, what I have to do if I, if I want to subscribe, for example, I have two data sources over there, DS1 and DS2. As a user, I have to go and subscribe to this very particular dashboard so that if there is even a single failure, I should be getting the notification. So there is one more sheet over there, tab over there, overall delay. So you have to come over here. So now you have two options. Is your company giving you the option of alerts? If not, then you can go with the subscription. So I'll show you both the ways. Way number one, I'll have to click on the access. Uh, there is an action over there, an action over there. So that's why you, you went over there. Anyways, then I can come over there and I can create an alert. The condition would be above zero. That means even if one of the extract will fail, even a single extract, it will exceed uh, the, the minimum limit that is zero. So that is the condition that, now what is the funda behind that? We'll uh, talk about that later. But as a user, you will set this condition if you're using the alerts. Now, if you're using the subscription, I can go and, and, and one more thing, uh, again, you have the option to schedule your alerts as well, right? So I, I forgot to show you that. So, so you have like daily and at most, so it depends uh, upon your tableau server team. I'm not sure what you have because in our, in my previous team, I had the option to schedule as frequently as 30 minutes, if I, if I remember. So you have to keep that as zero. And remember, it should not be above or equal to, it should be above zero. So whenever there will be an extract failure, there should be something that will be more than zero. That is the one thing that you should keep in your mind for now. Subscription, again, you can add. So there also you can, you would have seen there was a block, you know, add the recipient. So you can add multiple recipients there as well. Here also I can, add multiple repeat recipients or, or say subscri subscribers. Another important point over here is don't send if view is empty. That means principle number one, I would say that if everything is fine, if all the, if all the extracts are running fine, then this sheet should be null. That's why don't send if view is empty. If everything is fine, view should be empty. Principle number one. Here also you have the option to create schedule. So it's, you can repeat. Now you will have to repeat as per your dashboard or as per your extract. If your uh, minimum frequency is around 30 minutes, you'll have to set it with respect to the minimum frequency option, right? 
in of the in some of the companies alerts are not there keep that in mind so then you can make use of subscription other thing is that you also depend upon the frequency available at alerts or subscription okay so now how to refreshed right i have two data sources ds1 ds2 here on the right hand side it shows me delay by how many hours like 96 hours here delay by how many minutes 4061 so when i am creating a overall delay that is in terms of hours so that is so here i am changing ds2 minutes to hour by dividing by 60 so that i'll i'm going to show you so this is our simple dashboard now how to create that now let me take you so it's simple this is all in one dashboard i have two data sources so i i say for each data sources i have two sheets step 1 and step 2 but before that let me let us talk about the now at sheet and extract refresh date so now you have to bring that component to your field let me show you how we are doing. so this i have already explained how to go with subscription or data alert step 1 this is the step 1 extract refresh date so now you have to materialize that now this is not now calculation at sheet that also i am going to use in order to make use of current date but this is a refresh date you have to bring this at the data source level and that's why for example this is sample super store so i'm making use of custom sql and getting now as ext refresh date so that would be your step 1 <laughs> step 2 now 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 i at sheet level now at uh, so now here from there i get the extract refresh time here i want to get the current time so that i can make the difference between the extract refresh time and now time current time now this is for the divided into two parts either you have to go with now the traditional now or you can hard code the r part like that 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 out of i'm doing this because you can say that right uh, that i want to measure from a particular time say 9 am every day i want to calculate the difference between 9 am and now you know when i'm doing the subscription so, um, with respect to the subscription time or you go with the now so that's up to you <coughs> so go with now or you go with make date time where you are hard coding the time part 9 am 10 am or or you go with now right so here you are hard coding the time part as well date time that's fine so go with either of the two and after that i have date different set this is this is just for the color coding so if you are create a new sheet as below so we we talked about the first sheet this this is the first sheet ds1 step 1 this is the first sheet we talked about now at sheet and extract refresh time that is materialized at data source now the second ds1 step 2 would be now we are just uh, getting the date difference uh, let me show you date difference are so here since this is this is getting refreshed every single day so here we have if date difference between the extract refresh time and now at sheet is less than 24 then null as i said if everything is fine this should be refreshed every 24 hours if everything is fine it should throw null else it should show date difference so if you see over there it's already exceeding by 65 hours so that's why it will not throw null now at sheet so here you can see uh this is 520 pm and this is 1030 am which is now and the difference is by 65 hours so this is a candidate to throw the alert ds2 similarly here you can see so this is an hourly refresh and that's why i'm calculating delay by minutes so this is how you have to create these four sheets for two data sources so if i go to ds2 step 1 same thing now at sheet extract refresh date and ds2 step 2 same thing but the only difference is you have the delay by minutes over there so if i if i say show the calculation it will show me day difference by minute divided by 60 is fine if ever if it is 
within the threshold limit then null else you will have you, it will throw the date difference in minutes last but not the least overall delay i am trying to add <laughs> now this is something interesting so what i am doing over here is i am adding date difference of both the sheets or both the data sources and here i am saying that if zn so i have to turn because it it might throw null so if i have to make some sort of calculation again i have to turn that back to zn or say zero if zn or zn this thing if i'm just adding then uh, it's greater than zero then zn that means if any of the data source has exceeded the threshold time then it should give the overall delay time right suppose in this case both the data sources are exceeding so it will show me the overall delay and here i am converting that minutes to uh, here i am converting those minutes to r right else if everything is fine then throw null if it is not greater than 0 then it should uh, throw null it will not be greater than 0 only in scenarios right when you will have not null that means there you will be having something greater than 0 so if both the data sources are fine as i said if everything is fine then null null this will become 0 0 greater than 0 no it will go to the else part null so this overall delay will become uh zero when overall null will become zero it will throw null right and when it will be null now you go back to that uh, subscription thing if you remember i said yes don't send if you is empty if everything is fine it will not show it will not send any alerts or notification so that is a funda for especially for the subscription for data alert it's like you have to click on the axis and you have to say greater than 0 you know that is a that is a funda for data alert so but in any case you have to throw null when everything is fine you have to throw not null in this case the overall delay in hours when any of the extract is getting failed so that is the funda behind that and if we move further we talked about the funda and of course we talked about the date difference date that is the different be between the extract time and current time and then we discuss about the third step that is that is for the overall delay the sheet that we have created this calculation will throw greater than 0 if any of the data sources exceeds the usual time of extraction the output will become zero when all data sources will throw the steps the procedure that i did and i hope this will be helpful for your project there are other you you can you are most welcome to go through maybe you have the access to viz alerts maybe you have the all the different ways and pick the best one that suits to you so this is ritesh signing off from uh, tabloinfo.com stay safe stay at home we'll meet you till then bye bye from ritesh